Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you an awesome new plugin called the Mud Kid for Mudbox 2023 and 24. It's created by James Grimes, who also known as the Jabba the Nut. He's a 3D art and animation enthusiast who is interested in 3D animated short films. He's also a experienced programmer. So before I show you how the kit works, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what the three main features are. The first one is Dyna Skin, the second one is Dyna Bowl, and then Object Align. So Dyna Skin is a Mudbox equivalent of ZBrush's Dynamesh. So for those of you who are not familiar with Dynamesh, it's a tool where it turns a mesh into a more grid like topology so it makes it easier to sculpt on like shown in the picture right here and then the second feature is dynable which is essentially booleans mixed with the dyna skin feature so there's the difference mode where it subtracts one mesh from another and then the intersection where it takes the intersection between two two common areas of the mesh and then spits out the mesh from the inside. And then finally we have the union where it combines two meshes into one single continuous mesh. And lastly, we have the object align feature. O object align helps the user align objects in XYZ space. So for this demo of the mud kit, I'm using Mudbox 2024. You can also use 2023 since um, on this website it says it supports 2023 and 2024. So once, once it's installed, I'm just going to um, create a uh, new mesh. Simply, I'm just going to use a cube. Very basic. I'm going to hide the grid because it's kind of distracting. And then I'm going to also create a sphere. I want to just subdivide the sphere a few times to make it more smooth. Yep, that should be good. I'm gonna shrink it, shrink the sphere down slightly. And then let's jump back and then go to Mud Kid, Launch Kid, and then it'll give you a separate window, floating window. So I'm gonna briefly talk about what this setting does. The density level basically is the how how dense the topology is the resulting topology. So the higher is the fine, finer details. And the replace source objects basically is an option where you want to keep the, the source objects or completely replace them. So I like to keep them. So I'm gonna check it off. I'm gonna increase the density level to three then I'm going to add, add the first object for object A and then the sphere for object B. First, I want to demo the union tool. So once you have that set up, just click union and then Mudkit will do its thing. And now it automatically hides the source meshes and only gives you the combined mesh. As you can see, they both combine into one single mesh. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna rename it so that it's easier, more organized. So I'm gonna hide this and then bring back the two cube and sphere. Now I want to do a difference. 
Unfortunately, it seems to have a reset the um, object A and B, but that's not a big pro big issue. It's just do the just redo the same thing that I did before. And now we did done that. We'll do the difference. I think it's pretty neat. With Dynable, you can easily create a lot of complex hard surface designs. Okay, so I'm gonna rename this as well to Difference. Then lastly, we're gonna try out the intersection. At the sphere, then click intersection. Voila, you get a dice. And rename it to intersection. Intersection. Done. I'm just gonna display them side by side. Showcasing the three different methods. Next up, I want to show the Dyna skin. Let's use a human. I'm gonna subdivide it once just to mess around. I'm gonna use the grab tool and turn on the tessellation by holding shift and the tilde key. I want to also turn on the uh, symmetry. I'm just gonna create some random horns on the shoulder. Then looping it back into the shoulder blade. Just wanna do a add the volume. I'm gonna reduce the string to two. Just want to add back some of the volume. Not sure what kind of design I'm going for, but I uh, just want to demonstrate the Dynaskin feature. Mainly. So now that you have this weird loop, Gonna select the object and then do a dinoskin. Ah, it's just one of those annoying bugs. But no, no matter. You can simply just. Also, we want to turn off the mirror function. Off. Deselect it. Select it again. Do a. Add to the vision level. Now it should be okay to dynaskin. I guess the resolution is a little bit low. So I'm gonna redo it again. Delete it. 
let's increase the density level maybe to five. And select that mesh. Dino skin. Yeah, much nicer. Notice how this weird ring is now fused with the body now. This is pretty handy because it's it's a feature that uh, Mudbox is currently lacking, like the Dynamesh feature. So yeah, I think it's pretty handy, honestly. That's it for the showcase. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel.